is a pre-recorded program. Um, the University of West Indies, have you forgotten? Because I haven't been here for several months. Since the summer, since I think um, July, I have been taking vacation and hence not here with your favorite program, the University of West Indies and you. But today, um, to make up for that lost time, you may say, we have someone very special who has come to Dominica on a very special occasion. Um, someone who is very dear to me, and you know why. Um, Dame Eugenia Charles, we had um, in November celebrated the 10th um, Distinguished Lecture. Dame Eugenia Charles, our revered, you may say, um, leader of, um, of the 90s, 80s and 90s. And um, here from Grenada, where I think Dame Eugenia Charles was schooled, is um, Dr. Wendy Grenade. Uh, just forget about the name, um, but it's an explosive lady. With a surname like this, you can expect much from her. So we will, as we always do, and we are looking forward to not only Christmas, which comes before the new year, we will be with you, the University of West Indies and you, always keeping in contact with our viewers and listeners, because this has always been and will continue to be your favorite program where you interact with the University of the West Indies, that regional institution that is so dear to all Caribbean people. Um, you may say cricket comes, but we are not doing too well in cricket, but we are going to higher heights with the University of the West Indies. I'll be right back with you after a word from the sponsors. I'm part of a tough, smart, constantly evolving, never too old to learn community of human beings. Proud of country. Proudly Caribbean, global citizens. With convenient access to over 400 learning programs. Delivered both online and face-to-face. -face. From the Caribbean's University of First Choice. My mind. My life. My world of possibilities is wide open. Call, click, or visit the UWI Open Campus. So, as always, whenever we have guests on this University of the West Indies and U program, we ask them to introduce themselves. Well, you know how privileged I am. If I'm seated by a beautiful lady um, of African descent, you may say, which I think I am also, and um, I want to spend the hour knowing much more about her, knowing much more about the impact that she as a lecturer of the University of the West Indies, based in Cavill campus, um, to know what it is that makes the University of the West Indies and the people who serve you in the Caribbean so special. Good evening to you, Dr. Wendy Grenade. I made, not fun of your name, but um, I try to impress on the viewers and listeners that with a name like Grenade, we expect an explosion. Is that what we should, or is that what we got from your lecture, the 10th Distinguished Lecture of uh, the University of the West Indies Open Campus, Dominica site, on Dame Eugenia Charles? Well, good evening, Felix, and good evening to all of Dominica. Um, it's a pleasure, really, to be in Dominica. This is my second visit, and as I said last night, as a Grenadian, I feel so very home, very at home, home. in Dominica. Mm -hmm. Um, with respect to the lecture last night, I think I should introduce myself first and then as Yes, and then lecture, we will we'll address the lecture. Yes, well, as Felix said, I'm Wendy Grenade. I'm Grenadian, hence the name. <laughs> um, I am a lecturer in political science at the UWI Keyville campus, so we're part of the U UWI family. Mm -hmm. um, I also coordinate a master's in integration studies, and I'm the deputy dean outreach yes. um, in the faculty of social sciences at Keyville. So um, I'm quite pleased to be here joining you as part of a wider URI, URI outreach to the Dominican family. Um, I did my studies at the University of Miami. Mm -hmm. um, my PhD dissertation focused on carbon integration and some of the challenges that, that we are yet to confront. Um, so integration is very close to my heart. Um, the lecture last night, the title was Unleashing the Spirit of Overcoming. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be able as we honor the memory of Dame Eugenia Charles, who was a formidable Dominican and Caribbean woman, I wanted to, in the context of, of Tropical Storm Erica, speak about some of the, not just natural, but figurative storms mm. 
and to take us back in time to show how we have overcome as a Caribbean people and then to focus on the areas that we still need to overcome as we continue to build our resilience. So um, that was the essence of, of the lecture last yes. evening. Okay. Yes. Um, we still need to know a little much more about you because I, I understood, yes, you did a um, PhD in, in Miami. Yes. You also studied in the UK. Yes. I, um, I should let you know, I served the government of Grenada for a number of years. Yes. Um, I was in the Foreign Service for some time and I served in Washington, D.C. and in London. Mm -hmm. And when in London, I did a master's in human resource management. Yes. Um, following that, I went back to the United States and did um, another master's in international studies and then the PhD in international studies. International studies. Um, so mm -hmm. I try in my teaching and mm -hmm. research to draw on, you know, the practical experience plus the theoretical okay. um, knowledge. So having studied in Miami uh, as well as the UK, mm -hmm. what did you do? What, what began your career with the University of the West Indies? Well, while I was in Miami, I, I applied to the University of the West Indies yes. campus and um, I was fortunate to get a position there in 2006. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, because I had done work on integration, we were just setting up an integration studies master's program. Yes. We were just introducing um, a minor, which is now a BSc, in uh, inter international relations. Yes, yes, okay. So with my background in integration, regional integration and international relations, um, I was hired on, on that basis, on that basis okay. and um, you know, we, we, we are doing quite a bit in terms of trying to be, be more relevant mm -hmm. to the region that we serve. So, for example, as deputy dean in the Faculty of Social Sciences, we have harmonized a lot of our programs. We've introduced new programs, and we're trying to connect with the community. Just what yes. you're doing here, yes, okay. we're doing um, at Cave Hill as well, trying to ensure that our um that that we use outreach to, to ensure relevance and rigor mm -hmm. yeah and reach expand yes. our reach to the community because that that is what the university is about uwi and you ensuring <laughs> that what we do yes is meaningful to the community yeah. that we serve so, yeah. which is let's say the region yes the caribbean region yes yeah. and it's diaspora yes, yes. um mm -hmm. it's, it, there are several um themes that you brought up here one I will hang on to later is integration, mm -hmm. and, and probably ask you integration of what. Mm -hmm. huh? um, but you have had a wealth of experience. As you said, you were um, the um, High Commissioner for... No, 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 no High Commissioner. Not High Commissioner. No, 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 no. But what, what was it you I represented? I was Administrative Attaché. Uh, attaché. Yes, administrative yes. Attaché. Yes. Well, you, you should aspire to be um, High Commissioner one day for, for Grenada, be somewhere in the world. Huh? Well, I think what I'm doing now... Yes. It's, 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 it's yes. more in, in well, you involving... Get to shape minds. Yes. You get to shape minds. Shape minds, much yes. more than being in an, an office. Well, it's important with, to serve yes. at, at different mm. levels. We, we, under which government did you serve? Was it, the um, government of Grenada. Yeah. Um, who was prime minister then? Was that... Um, Both Dr. different prime ministers. Oh, different prime ministers. Yes. Okay, great. It's just to get a time frame of, okay. uh, of okay. when, you, when you did this. Um, and... Um, what, what, what can you tell us about Dame? Have you, did you ever interact with Dame Eugenia Charles? No, I never did interacted with her. Mm. But of course, I followed her career. I knew that she went to a school in Grenada. Grenada, yes. Um, mm. As I said last night, she grew up with the nationalist movement. Yes. Um, she played a critical role in the formation of the OECS. OECS, yes. And as OECS mm. national myself, mm. Um, I appreciated the role she played. Mm -hmm. It must have been so difficult for Dame Eugenia Charles as the first female prime minister um, at a time when female leadership was not that fashionable. Not, not in the world, as a matter yes, of fact. Yes, and she um, really pioneered and, mm -hmm. and broke ground. Mm -hmm. um, she was daring, I think, and bold very much. in her leadership. Um, very controversial public figure. Um, she was not always understood. Mm -hmm. um, there is a very interesting book that Professor Eudine Barry and yes. Alan Cobley did, yes, yes. Professor Alan Cobley did, um, looking at her life in joint mm -hmm. power. Eudine Barry incidentally, is now the, the, principal. the principal of the Caveville campus. Yes, and yes. she did the inaugural mm, yes. lecture. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the inaugural day. I, I think yes. she has been on this program oh, right. before, yes, okay. yes. And in that mm -hmm. book, Professor Barry concluded that we have not yet unpacked mm -hmm. the paradox of that was Eugenia Charles. Charles yes. She led against the green. Yes. You know, she, she gave a lot to Dominica. I mm. mean, that's in the book. And to the Caribbean, 
but we have not yet unpacked the paradox Dox of, of, of that, e that she was, yes. E Gina. Uh -huh. Well, it's someone I should tell you with no hesitation that I admired mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, in terms of not only her firmness, but her selflessness. Mm -hmm. Eugenia Charles was dedicated to Dominica, mm -hmm. and no one can question this. Mm -hmm. She did not get into politics mm -hmm. for personal gain, mm -hmm. because, um, in fact, her father owned a bank. We call it the Penny Bank. Mm -hmm. um, Eugenia Charles was known to take her monthly salary mm -hmm. as the prime minister and just use it on students' education, mm -hmm. give them scholarships, mm -hmm. you know? And she didn't want it to be um, advertise, etc. Mm -hmm. um, so who knew knew, right. but, but and most persons knew. Mm -hmm. So she was um, selfless, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I, I still hold the view, and um, I have no reservation of that. Um, even where one would have thought that she she um, did not do well uh, for the economy of Dominica, mm -hmm. but she did more than anyone could dream of. In fact, she was responsible for two cruise ship births, mm -hmm. one in Portsmouth and one in Roseau. Mm -hmm. And that is what sustained us in the main now in Dominica mm -hmm. in terms of cruise tourism mm -hmm. and, and a major contributor to the, to the tourist industry. Um, but that, that is just part of, of Eugenia Charles. Mm -hmm. uh, um, there are several other things. Um, I, as a student in England then, mm -hmm. when Eugenia Charles started in, say, 1980, um, I felt so proud of knowing that my leader, mm -hmm. not only female, but a Dominican woman, she preceded Margaret Thatcher. Mm -hmm. um, I think before her may have been um, Indira Gandhi. Gandhi. Gandhi, yes. Gandhi, um, um, then, then Eugenia, Margaret Thatcher, and then beating Iceland or one of or, um, the other countries, we had another female leader. But <clears throat> Eugenia was so assertive. I mean, you'll know much more, you may have read much more, but I'm talking from as a student, as a Dominican, knowing someone, mm -hmm. um, and, and um, Eugenia was once following your Grenada revolution, mm -hmm. if you, you would have probably read about this, um, who went to, to um, Washington, D.C., and uh, um, displaced, you may say, um, Ronald Reagan by taking the mic from him because she was much more informed of the situation mm -hmm. in Dominica. She did another marvelous thing mm -hmm. when, when um, the United States, which now is easing of the tension between Cuba and, and um, the United States, um, we needed to sell our soap mm -hmm. from what is now being closed called the Dominica coconut pro, um, products. Mm -hmm. And Eugenia Charles was one to say, listen, I am going to Cuba and to sell my soap. It was much against the wishes of Dan Quayle, who was the deputy or, or the um, uh, vice president then of the United States. But she went on and did that. Mm -hmm. And that was our lifeblood. Mm -hmm. um, she was one of the few Caribbean leaders to talk about diversification in agriculture, because mm -hmm. Dominica is agricultural based. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that adds to what you will know much more about her than I do. And I know also in Grenada, she's very much loved by those who remember her being schooled there. Mm -hmm. And um, they, she had a passion for Grenada, mm -hmm. apart from her homeland, Dominica. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think she was a phenomenal woman. Yeah, she was um, indeed. And I really, last night I, I, I commended the, the Open Camp mm -hmm. for, for yeah. continuing to hold this honor. distinguished memorial lecture yes. mm -hmm. in her name. Yes. Because it's important that we honor the memory of those who contributed yes. to shape in mm, this mm, Caribbean. Mm. Yeah, and she did indeed. Yeah, and yeah. that is someone who never needed accolade. Mm -hmm. And that is someone, as a prime minister, what I admired most, Eugenia Charles would walk the streets, no security. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, not that she feared no one, mm -hmm. but um, she was very much loved, mm -hmm. even if um, many persons would not have expressed it, mm -hmm. but respected her dearly mm -hmm. for this. So, um, I just added to what I know you yes. would have said last night. On, 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 unfortunately, I had to attend a very important meeting of the Dominic Olympic Committee, which I served as president. But um, I will and I have, you may say, gotten some reports from different people mm -hmm. that your lecture went very, very well. Thank you. Thank so you so let, let us come to um, what I deem probably your passion. The, the, you kept mentioning the word integration. Mm -hmm. Integration of what, may I ask? Mm -hmm. When I speak of regional integration, mm -hmm. 
even as we look at the world today and we see blocks are forming, whether we think about the European Union or NAFTA or the African Union, as the case may be. Um, when we look at the Caribbean, we've had a long journey in terms of not just integrating economies and our markets, mm -hmm. but the integration of our people. people. Last night I quoted uh, the former Prime Minister of Barbados, the late Errol Barrow, Barrow. Mm -hmm. when he was speaking about the fact that in our daily lives, you have Barbadian children of Dominican fathers or mm -hmm. Sicilian fathers. Mm -hmm. And I think we have, at the level of people-to-people -people connectivity, mm -hmm. we are very much integrated. At the level of our sovereign states, there is a lot of work to be done in mm -hmm. terms of shared sovereignty, in terms of collective diplomacy, um, but I was making the point last night that when we look at regionalism in the Caribbean, the glass is not half empty, mm -hmm. in my view, it is half full. Because yes, yes. when we look at the OECS, we mm -hmm. have very deep levels of integration at the level of the sub-region. Yes. Outside of the European Union, yeah. the OECS is the deepest form of regionalism. Um, we have a common currency, mm -hmm. and uh, I like to say that we capitalized on our inheritance. Because that was the currency that was used during the federal experiment. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, when Eric Williams said uh, one from ten... Is zero. <laughs> he really was a historian yes, yes, and yes. not a mathematician. Yes, because yes. one from ten did in fact <laughs> lead nine. <laughs> one from ten yes, did yes. lead nine. Yes, yes, yes. And when we look at... Even as we compare the OECS and CARICOM, mm -hmm. in terms... In, in, the, in CARICOM, you have the free movement of labor mm -hmm. as a factor, an uh, economic factor mm -hmm. of production. Yeah? Yes, yes. In the OECS, we speak about the movement of people. People, yes. Mm -hmm. As citizens. Mm -hmm. And we don't have categories mm -hmm. of movement. Yes. I, my passport was stamped yesterday in the finite stay. I could stay mm -hmm. here, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. Have, to, I don't have to go back, <laughs> you know. So yeah. we have, um, sometimes when we think about regionalism in, yes. regionalism in the Caribbean, we, we don't sufficiently look at our accomplishments. Mm -hmm. Um, we tend to look at what we have not achieved. Yes. I think in the realm of functional cooperation, CARICOM has done very well. Um, when we think about health, education, yes. disaster management, mm -hmm. the institutions that have been set up, um, whether we're speaking now, there is the Climate Change Centre in Belize. Mm -hmm. You have the University of the West Indies, you have the Caribbean Development Bank. I think we have a number of institutions in the Caribbean that, that do in fact work for us. Yes. Um, economic integration is where we, we have a major challenge. And um, I think this, the, the, the problem surrounds the fact that the imperatives for economic integration, small size, mm -hmm. these economies of scale, lack of competitiveness, lack of diversification, these are some of the reasons why we should integrate, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So at least we have an enlarged One complements the other, yes. But these are the same reasons mm. that keep pulling us back. Okay. Yeah, so it becomes, it become, it, it, economic integration is, is difficult in a context where you're trying to have one single market, but you're trading in the same goods. If trade is about exchange, Change, yes. uh -huh. but you're trading in the same goods yes, yeah. and services. So we have to work on that, mm -hmm. yeah? But I think... It is the way to go mm. in terms of when we think about how do we deal with the rest of the world in terms of trade, yes. in terms of competitiveness, in terms of global presence. Yes. I made a point so, last so night. Are, are you uh, saying that if, if the world were to see us as a unit, um, not, not just, when I say unit, not just of one mind, mm -hmm. there can be diverging views mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. within the unit. Yes. But when, mm -hmm. we, um, when we compete, mm -hmm. when, we, when we present ourselves to the rest of the world, mm -hmm. we should be seen as a unit, yes, Caribbean and, unit. Yes, and mm -hmm. what has been happening, the, 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 the powerful regions like the European Union mm -hmm. would be saying to us, I remember Pascal Lamy when he was Commissioner for yes. Trade of the European Union, he said, mm -hmm. what we want is South-South-North integration, meaning our transaction costs would be too high mm. if we have to deal with all of you individually. If, if you integrate, Great, then yes. come to us, mm -hmm. right? Yes, We've yes. done it, so yes. why can't you? Yeah. And um, they, 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 they push that on us in a way. But, but that aside, I think in terms of our collective destiny, mm -hmm. individually, it's difficult to deal with the complex issues that confront us in the world. Okay. Um, we have to find ways to, in terms of research and development, 
in terms of negotiating yeah. skills, capability yes, yes, yes. and skills. Um, if we pool the mm -hmm. best of what we have, yeah. we can be a, a, a force to be contended with in the world. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we go individually, it is harder. Yeah. Now, yeah. But, no, what I thought, just so that I don't lose that point, um, what mitigates against that? You said that we, there are great minds in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. yeah. but the Caribbean suffers to um, mm -hmm. loss of those great minds to the north or the more developed countries. Well, what impact does that have on us? Well, I think we have to turn around the mm -hmm. circumstances. Yes. And yes, we understand that many of our Caribbean students, once they reach high school, get into university, they aim to go to exodus. North America or, or to Europe. How do we mm -hmm. turn that around? Mm -hmm. How do we engage the diaspora? Mm. It was in 2003 that the former Jamaican Prime Minister P.J. Patterson said, you know, the diaspora has to be the 16th state of CARICOM. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. How do we find, get joint ventures, mm -hmm. knowledge transfer? Sure, yes, um. we, we have to have greater, deeper engagement mm -hmm. with the diaspora. Okay. In that way, we turn the circumstances around and we don't speak about brain drain, but we speak about the gains that can be had. Yes. What, what can be transmitted from those who, yes. may, they may be anywhere in the world, yes. but their contribution yes. um, um, can be, be significant. significant. Yes, yes. Could be significant. Yes. Uh -huh. Granted, we, don't, we want to know in the Caribbean, in the, yes. in the, in the um, because Norman Govan has a, a conceptualization of the Caribbean that goes beyond the, the confines of geography, mm -hmm. right? And yes. Which is very much part of yes. this transnational space. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we want to know within the Caribbean, we can create an environment yes. that would allow young people to want to remain. When a, a, a student graduates from the open campus here, mm -hmm. or from a secondary school, or from your, 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 your college, your college mm -hmm. yes. th there must be something that they want to do here to contribute. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you can't go and contribute and come back again. But we have to create an environment mm -hmm. that would create incentives to build capacity in, 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 in the local spaces. Yeah, but you, you said that we have to create this, but doesn't it come down to the curriculum? Not only of, of our primary schools, um, you can even start further, the, 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 what we discuss as preschools or early childhood, primary schools, um, secondary schools up to the University of the West Indies, which mm. is playing its part, and yes. we, we ought not to forget it. And that unit of the University of the West Indies has really kept a lot of our intellectuals in the Caribbean. Oh, yes. And if you think of um, CSEC, that yes. examination mm -hmm. that has been emulated by Australia, mm -hmm. um, Ireland, Scotland, mm -hmm. and um, other, other countries in the, in the British Commonwealth, you may say. Yeah. We started the, the, the concept of school-based assessment. Right. That was what was started yeah. right here with our intellectuals, of course, mainly of course. from UWE. Yeah. yeah. And, and the University of the West Indies has yes. played a significant role yes. in the development of this Caribbean region. Mm -hmm. But I want us to speak a little bit about Caribbean education in general. Yes. And I asked the question last night, what is the purpose of education? Is the purpose of education just to satisfy the marketplace in mm -hmm. as much as that is very important huh? mm -hmm. but what are we producing why are we educating mm -hmm. and i think for every for every country for every region there must be a larger purpose yes. for educating your people people yeah. mm -hmm. in education in, in my view must be intentional you spoke about the curriculum yes what is in the curricula that we have. History, for example. Many Caribbean students, you do history up to form three. Yeah. And after that, and then you still yeah. use the book, the people who came. Came, yes. <laughs> what happened after are, they are came? We, what happened they? before they came? In fact, it's not even called history now, you know, if I understand what happens in mm -hmm. the secondary schools, etc. It's social studies. Yes. It's a mixture of um, I, I, which I say, I'm, I'm old fashioned. Mm -hmm. we, we should um, get back to civics. Yes, yes. Uh, yes civics. Yes. Because that will inculcate some 
pride, not only yes. national pride, but Caribbean pride yes. in our people. Yes. And, and the common purpose, you said, mm -hmm. of education mm -hmm. sh should do just that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that it limits you to the Caribbean mm -hmm. in terms of your world education. Mm -hmm. And I always found that Caribbean people know more about geography mm -hmm. and even history than those in the developed countries, mm -hmm. because they are sometimes confined to their state mm -hmm. or their cities, etc. Yeah. But as a Caribbean person, is well, you may say well-rounded and know much more Right. Than, than just um, about the Caribbean. Of course, yeah. because the Caribbean has been part of this globalized world. Well, yes. But, but mm. in terms of the University of the West Indies yes. and our role in Caribbean mm. education, um, I can speak for what we're doing at Cave Hill. In terms of research and development? Research and development. Yes. Mm. And teaching as well and public service, because mm. you know we all operate within three pillars. Yes. Teaching, research, public, public service. service. Now in terms of teaching, we have put, um, introduced a number of new courses. For example, in the Faculty of Science and Technology, we have um, renewable energy. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, because we look at the problems in the Caribbean. We see how can we be more relevant to impact the Caribbean with the knowledge that we produce at UA and the teaching that we do. So you have sports, for example, mm -hmm. sports science. Mm -hmm. um, within the Faculty of Social Sciences, we have a number of courses um, surrounding tourism, mm -hmm. project management and tourism. We have a number of new taught master's yes. programs. So if someone, for example, you know, you've already had a first degree and you want to invest in, in, in higher education, we have a number of those kinds of programs. And of course, at the open campus, the, the online facility becomes very yes, important. So you can reach you what, can have as wider we described, reach. on the serve persons. Right, on the In, in persons. distant yes. communities, since you have the internet, yes. then you can, yes. a, a number of persons, mm -hmm. there are more persons getting degrees from the open campus, at yes. least here in Dominica and, and some of the other territories in mm -hmm. the Caribbean, than at the bricks and mortar right. campuses. Yes. So whereas you may have a sprinkling of Dominicans at Cave Hill, mm -hmm. but you have... Um, uh, in any one year, at mm -hmm. least 60 or 70 persons mm -hmm. in, in Dominica, yes. quite a number more in St. Lucia, of course, of Grenada, etc., yes. um, obtaining degrees yes. by remaining here and working, etc. So that's a, a tentacle, you may say, of the University of Wrestling, yes. which is commendable. Yes, yes. and I mean, we have to always mm. remember that it is one regional university. Yes. One regional university, and our regionality must be preserved. Yeah? Um, so it is important that whatever we do, we understand that we are linked. And I think this is important. Mm -hmm. You and I here as part of one UE family. Family, yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. But the University of the West Indies, when we think about some of the other universities within the region, because we have to be honest that we have competition around, we have to ask ourselves, why choose the University of the West Indies? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a parent looking at this and you, you're wondering, where should I um, invest in terms of allowing my, my education child to of study. my child. Yes. Now, the University of the West Indies, I think, when compared to some of the other universities around, um, has a mandate for the advancement of, Caribbean of people. the Caribbean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think perhaps it's the only university that has as, it, as its mandate to, to develop to a region. To develop a region. Yes, yes. Through the research it does. Mm -hmm. um, the Sargasm seaweed, for example is affecting many Caribbean yeah, and, countries. And the tourism, etc. Right, yes, and, mm. and the livelihoods of fisher folk, yeah. and so forth. And um, the University of the West Indies at Cave Hill, I know we're doing serious research into that. Mm -hmm. um, the green economy, the blue economy. So the, the University of the West Indies has a mandate mm -hmm. to ensure it advances and transforms this Caribbean. Okay. Um, after Tropical Storm Erica, a theme from our social work unit within the department that I'm part of, Department of government sociology and social work, they came to Dominica and did a very good report, mm -hmm. um, you know, using a sort of psychology, social work perspective to understand some of the issues post Erica. We have a mandate mm -hmm. to deal with the issues on the ground so that we can shape a different kind of Caribbean. And the university right now, it's about how do we expand our global reach? So we want to be regionally grounded. Did yes with global competitiveness. Yes, so yes. we are renewing ourselves constantly, mm -hmm. trying to ensure that we have global reach, we are globally competitive, even as we maintain our specialist grounding in the Caribbean. Okay. I told you, and mm -hmm. probably you did not listen well, I said she's explosive. With a name like Grenade, Dr. Grenade, Wendy Grenade, what do you expect? Um, let's take a break for our sponsors. 
become part of a tough, smart, constantly evolving, never too old to learn community of human beings. Proud of country. Proudly Caribbean, global citizens. With convenient access to over 400 learning programs. Delivered both online and face-to-face. -face. From the Caribbean's University of First Choice. My mind. My life. My world of possibilities is wide open. Call, click, or visit the UWI Open Campus. Let me just say that there are several issues that um, Wendy has raised that we should explore a little more. One of them where she made mention of, um, well, while speaking of integration, of the role of the University of West Indies in terms of um, development of sports, which is dear to me, as well as tourism, which too is another niche for the Caribbean. We cannot escape this. Most of our countries deal with tourism as the lifeblood of the economy, so you may say. But on the question of sports and linked to education, I have had a major problem with two aspects of our sporting. We have talent, um, but our, our, the approach, and I hope you, we can assist. Yes, there is the training of persons at the master's level mm -hmm. in, say, sports um, management, etc., um, sports science, you may mm -hmm. say. But when I go to secondary schools mm -hmm. in different territories, most of our sports teachers do not have a first degree. Mm -hmm. They are PE teachers, mm -hmm. and <laughs> they are not seen in the same light mm -hmm. as a history teacher, mm -hmm. a, a, a science teacher, mm -hmm. an English teacher mm -hmm. who in the main teaching at secondary school, have mm -hmm. first degree sometime, mm -hmm. uh, a master's degree, etc. Mm -hmm. But the sports, it seems always, a passa, we have persons, here's a ball, go and kick, mm -hmm. um, take some shade on the, the, the tree. Mm -hmm. But we don't see um, sports where we have the talent, we have to harness it, and if we delve more into sports science, mm -hmm. um, with proper qualified PE teachers and coaches, okay. uh, then we could attain much more than just one Usain Bolt. Mm -hmm. There are several Usain Bolts around the Caribbean. To happen. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And at Cape Hill, we have, in our undergraduate program mm. in the Faculty of Social Sciences, you can do an undergraduate degree in sports science. Okay. Yeah? Yes. So um, that, that I can get some brochures. But is, is that you. very much promoted? Yes, we do. Yes, yes. We do. Well, I know the passion of the now um, Vice Chancellor of yes, the University of yes. West Indies, that is um, Sir Hilary Beckles, right. um, has pushed sports. Yes. with this um, cricket academy that he has at Cave Hill. Exactly. Okay, but um, to, what I'm asking is that I think the University of the West Indies, to include the open campus, mm -hmm. should be um, promoting much more what we do well. Yes, of because, course. Because even with one integration unit of the Caribbean, which is cricket, mm -hmm. um, that to me, the interest by young persons, no yeah. generation, mm -hmm. is not there. Yeah, that's uh, um, and, and we need to rekindle yes. because that brought to us as Caribbean people a lot of pride. Yes, I always true. love to see Vivian Richards, mm -hmm. um, Clive Lloyd stepping at Lords mm -hmm. and owning Lords. Yeah. Uh, okay? yeah. We were seen as dominant in cricket. We may not always be, mm -hmm. but we have just sunk to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And with that, the interest mm -hmm. and participation in, in something like cricket has, has gone down. Yes, and we have to look at how mm. we rekindle. Yes. But going back to our sports program, we actually have scholarships and grants mm -hmm. that we give at the undergraduate level, that's the Keyville campus, yes. to encourage youngsters to get into sports. sports yes, yes. So we actually have grants and scholarships that we do okay. advertise. So some, some of that should be um, promoted much more. Yes. I know of one one Dominican, um, Liam Sebastian, he's now right. the cricket captain of the um, Dominica and also the Windward Island um, mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. But he um, is one among, you know, very yes, few yes, yes. Um, who I know attending to those courses because probably students at secondary school who want to go into university do not see you know, a, a degree in sports science as getting them anywhere. Right, right. Because usually one would think of how much money would I make right, yes. when I go into this. Yes, I think we have to redefine what success is. Mm -hmm. And we have to think about non-traditional ways, yes. non-conventional ways okay. of engaging. I also wanted to mention that um, we at Cave Hill and the, the current vice chancellor when he was principal, 
had a, a scholarship program as well for indigenous people. People, and yes. A number yes. of Dominicans. And, yes, a number of Dominicans. Did in yes. fact benefit from in, that. In several fields um, yes. law, economics, yes. etc. Yes. I, know, I know of them. Yes. Some of them are present politicians, okay. quite active um, right. um, in, in, that, um, mm -hmm. in that field. Mm -hmm. uh, let us then look at um, the other one that I, I, I really I like to talk about is tourism. Okay. Okay. Um, what, what work is being done by UWE? Although I know in Barbados, in Trinidad, mm -hmm. and, and Jamaica possibly, mm -hmm. there, are, um, there are institutions separate from UWE, mm -hmm. although probably linked to UWE in some ways, mm -hmm. that do um, uh, hospitality and tourism, right, et right, cetera. Right, right. What, is, what is happening oh, at Kiev? A lot is happening at Kiev. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, within the Department of Management Studies, um, I can speak about my good colleague and friend, Dr. Shilma Roberts. Mm. She just um, co-authored a very important book on Caribbean tourism. Yes. Um, and there's another one that um, uh, herself and some others did on new perspectives on Caribbean tourism. A lot is happening in terms of research. Mm. This latest book that was done um, is quite fascinating because it speaks about the different types of, of, of tourism. Yes. Um, sports tourism, mm -hmm. religious tourism, events management. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we think of tourism, we just think about either cruise tourism. Yes, or, or, they, or they, 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 those who go to hotels right, and exactly. see and sunshine. But yes. there's mm -hmm. so many in yes. terms of, if we want to think about diversifying our tourism product in the Caribbean and having niche tourism, mm -hmm. Dominica's ecotourism, you know, a, another hub, Trinidad perhaps, as, as conference and, uh, and yes, conventions conference, yes, tourism. Convention. So mm -hmm. that book, I would recommend it um, through, as, 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 a, as a main text. Mm -hmm. Um, that helps us understand the different types of, of um, how we can diversify within the tourism yes. industry and uh, the careers that can be linked to that. Yeah? Mm. And how you twin tourism at the master's level. Um, Dr. Roberts coordinates this program, different um, tourism programs, tourism and project management, yes. for example. Mm. It's a good twinning. So if someone wants to enhance their career options, Tourism and project management is very good. Okay. You have tourism and, 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 and other aspects of management. Yeah? So I think a lot is happening. And what, what, what is good about what's happening at Kiefer with tourism, the, the linkages between the academy and industry. Mm -hmm. Students, for example, will have to do projects and they would go into a place like Spice Town, yes. study that, that, that town, and then do a documentary yeah. on how it can what be makes used, spice on what it is. What yes. makes it what it is or, or, or in terms to, of heritage um, to, or oysters. Where's the fish oyster yes, market? The, yes, yes. I mean, I looked at some documentaries mm -hmm. last semester where some mm -hmm. students went to oysters, yes. interviewed vendors, yes. and tried to understand Stand. tourism and how the local communities and the tourists interact in a common space. Yes, yes. So I think um, when we think about Caribbean tourism, we cannot be thinking about tourism in the same old stale way. Mm -hmm. We have to think about how do we diversify, how do we ensure that we have environmental sustainability mm -hmm. even as we use tourism as one of the economic earners in the Caribbean. That's why I was saying last night, I was speaking about Dominica and the, the ecotourism. Yes. Because what you've been able to do is, is sort of preserve, preserve the, the environmental yes, yes. integrity yeah. of, we have of a, a very strong um, forestry division yes um, and that is important and, and also water management is, is yes a, a because tourism plus. on the downside mm. on the mm. downside tourism has the potential mm. to undermine sustainable Those development yes, yes. so it's how you engage tourism mm. tourism i have done some work for example on hiv and tourism mm. and we have to ensure that tourism does not undermine our security yes. in any way and so it's how you manage mm -hmm. tourism. You have to put policies in place to ensure that you get the best from it, but that you do not as well just put all your eggs in one basket. T tourism is a very fragile industry, mm -hmm. so we still have to ensure that we know how we are engaging with the tourism industry. Okay, but, but when they, mm -hmm. having said all this, which is, as I said, commendable, mm -hmm. the, 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 the uh, movers and shakers, mm -hmm in the Caribbean are usually politicians. Mm -hmm. How is UWE trying to get that message to the politicians? Because they are the decision makers, mm -hmm. they shape things. Whatever um, views institutions may have, like the University of West Indies or uh, any other mm -hmm. um, research group, etc., cetera, um, group of experts, etc. But to get that message to each of our territories, we need to, in some way, influence politicians. Right. And even before I come directly to answer your question, outside of tourism, I would 
I would think, you see, you see the productive sectors? Yes. Agriculture, fisheries. fisheries yeah. mm. We have to be thinking about a new political economy in the Caribbean. Mm. That's why I spent a lot of time last night speaking about what the Grenada Revolution did in terms of its political economy. Yes. Twinning agriculture with industry, Industries. having agribusiness, mm -hmm. having a manufacturing sector Sectors, where you were yes, using yeah. your fisheries yes. and getting value added from, mm -hmm. from your fishing mm -hmm. sector mm -hmm. and so forth and so forth. Because that, that is our resource. I yes, mean, exactly. Instead of um, as many, some tourism um, countries that uh, mass tourism, mm -hmm. where they import most of the food. And we don't that, want that yes. self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. I was Sorry, saying last yes. night that, you know, we, in the 70s or even and if 80s. It, it, even if it involves um, self-sufficiency within the region. Within the region. <laughs> yes, we, yes. we should be able to feed ourselves. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Imagine if we say Guyana, oh, yeah. Suriname, mm. Belize, Dominica, the yes. food basket yes. of the Caribbean. can be huge, yes. So it's about how do we shape a new political economy. Yes, tourism would be one of the plans, mm. but I wouldn't want to see a, a new political economy with, 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 with a, a focus on tourism and denying other very key industries and sectors yes. like agriculture, mm. fisheries and forestry okay. and so forth so and the, so on. Yeah, there so must we be need to, there must be a, a balance. Synergy. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, synergy. And, and, and the, 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 the twinning of sectors, the mm. intersectoral mixes that we need to have. Fantastic. But in terms mm. of UE's role, I think sometimes we don't often know how much we do. Mm. A lot of um, academics at the university sit on boards in the Caribbean, yes. do consultancies for governments. Yes. They write in the newspapers. Mm. Um, so I think which, throughout the Caribbean, the University of the West Indies is a reservoir mm -hmm. to feed policy. We write reports. Perhaps there's a lot more that can be done, mm -hmm. but I think we can't not recognize. Just think about the Caribbean without the University of the West Indies. <laughs> think about the Caribbean without the University of the West Indies. What, what kind of Caribbean it will be? Because, of course, ideas advance a society. Mm. And the university, I mean, when we think about our prime ministers, our technocrats, our diplomats. Most of them come mo from, most came from Most of the our trained people. Our human resource Personal, yes. capacity in mm. this region flowed from the, the University, university of the West Indies. That, that is so true. if we want to imagine a Caribbean without the University of the West Indies, I, I don't know what it would look like. Mm -hmm. So um, we have played a very important role. Yes. In building uh, this region. For example, like in um, seismic um, analysis, oh, yes. etc. St. Augustine. St. Augustine. Definitely. Yes. I mean, Dominicans are aware of their presence. Yes. Because they continually monitor the activities of our exactly. volcanoes, etc. It's et very et important. And, um, um, shifting I, I, of the ocean bed, etc. And it's yes. very important the work yes. that they're doing. Yeah. In, in St. Augustine as well, the food and technology faculty mm -hmm. of. I, I, I sat um, last year, we went Grenada doing some recruitment. And they were speaking about the work that the students were doing in terms of taking breadfruit and planting mm. and turning that into flour. Yes. And they were attacking youth unemployment. Mm -hmm. They were trying to show how you could be entrepreneurial and create a job yes. when you finish school. And, you know, they were making pancakes as, as part of the assessment from raw breadfruit and raw planting into flour, into pancakes. They were going into supermarkets and finding spaces on shelves so that they can promote this. And I think it's marvelous because it is showing us how through education, through new teaching techniques, you're really finding a way to address youth unemployment, but to change your political economy mm -hmm. to, 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 towards self-sufficiency. Eat what you grow and grow, and grow what, what you eat. eat. Yes. yes. Um, I should tell you, uh, just to chip in a little bit on the open campus. Yes. The open campus runs what is now the what is called the CPE, mm -hmm. Continuing mm -hmm. Professional Education. Yes. And when you mention um, areas like project management, mm -hmm. in fact, in Dominica, we have been for the past three years mm -hmm. um, running um, courses on project management, 13-week mm -hmm. courses on project management. And I'm telling you, in terms of participation, mm -hmm. we sometimes have to run two classes of around 30 or 35 people. Okay. That is how much interest there is. Mm -hmm. We've also done something on brokerage mm -hmm. because the community indicated that that was needed. Mm -hmm. So many uh, businesses mm -hmm. have to um, uh, commission um, persons from the outside, not mm -hmm. belonging to their firm, mm -hmm. to do the, 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 that part of the trade, brokerage. Mm -hmm. And um, 
by engaging those within the, the business places mm -hmm. to do that course. It has, it has spelled a lot of benefits for them. Oh, and they do give us feedback on that. Mm -hmm. So there's project management and brokerage, even um, counseling. Mm -hmm. We are now in what is called advanced counseling. And it okay. is amazing to find persons from the, the, the lawyers, um, mothers, you, a whole plethora of persons across the, the, the mm -hmm. spectrum of our, our, our um, society do those courses. Mm -hmm. um, events management, we started right. um, uh, this first semester, mm -hmm. we did e events management, and there are a number of others. Like someone wants to do next uh, semester, second semester, mm -hmm. trade law and policy, Good. which would give us much more information on WTO and um, CARICOM, etc., right. and all the agreements, um, trade agreements that people need to understand, etc. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, so that just adds to what um, UE as a whole does, yes. not only Cavill Campus, St. Augustine, mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, Jamaica. The only, only um, little concern I have, and I would like you to comment on it. Mm -hmm. We have three bricks and mortar um, campuses. Mm -hmm. St. Augustine, Mona, and Kville. Mm -hmm. And uh, what students of my age <laughs> would say, mm -hmm. before the University of West Indies was more integrated, mm -hmm. because if law was done mm -hmm. only in Barbados, mm -hmm. then we all, from Jamaica to Trinidad, mm -hmm. Belize, come to Barbados. Mm -hmm. And hence, we, th there was that mix mm -hmm. of Caribbean people. Mm -hmm. um, just even before you miss the University of West Indies, and we, as you said, you'll find many people in the Caribbean, their mother is from Jamaica and their dad from Grenada mm -hmm. or something like this. Mm -hmm. huh? Because of the movement of people mm -hmm. that used to happen, mm -hmm. a lot of them were policemen. Right. Who, Barbadian policemen. If you have a black man mm -hmm. um, in Dominica, you know that is of a Barbadian origin, mm -hmm. etc. Or it may be Antiguan and, mm -hmm. and Dominicans go to Antigua, etc. So that, that was encouraging. But what I'm seeing with UE now, with each campus doing, you may say, its own thing, yeah. does that really help mm -hmm. Caribbean people to integrate? Okay, very good question. In fact, in 2010, the former vice chancellor, um, That's, um, uh, Inajan Harris, uh, Inajan Harris yes, yes, yeah. uh, Professor Inajan Harris, yes. he um, formed a, a task force yes. on regionality. I was fortunate to be invited to sit on that task force okay. to look at how we can enhance regionality at the University of the West Indies. Mm -hmm. The current vice chancellor is building on that work and he has only recently mm -hmm. again formed a task force to look at what he's calling one University of the West Indies, yes. one U. One, one because the, the leadership of the university has in fact recognized mm -hmm. that we, we have to ensure that the university remains one university. Yes. Um, so that task force has been convened, and um, it shows that the university is, is aware that we need to be doing a lot more yes. to ensure mm -hmm. that we do not have this, 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 you know, this reversal. Mm -hmm. um, so it's something that's, that's been worked on, because and, and, it's a problem. And to me, that, to me, was the aura of the University of West Indies, mm -hmm. where um, I, all my kids have been educated at the University of West Indies, mm -hmm. one in, in um, Mona, um, where he did medicine, mm -hmm. and the experience, you cannot replace that right. for him. Right. Because he has made more friends mm -hmm. than he possibly had in Dominica, yeah. okay, where, where he was born. And then the, the daughter who was at Cavill, mm -hmm. and now in Trinidad, completing law, and a mm -hmm. uh, son who is doing accounting at um, St. Augustine. Right. Now, they, they and some of their relatives mm -hmm. will not replace the university in this um, for anything else. Right. I studied in England, and, and mm -hmm. you did, and there was one thing called loneliness. Mm -hmm. There was that West Indian thing or Caribbean thing that was missing, mm -hmm. except when it's summertime and we are up there playing cricket, right. I would go to see, mm -hmm. or you meet West Indian people in parties, etc. Mm -hmm. But within the university, mm -hmm. there wasn't that, um, you may say, Caribbean-ness. It was not community. Um, it, it was not community. Mm -hmm. you, you were just a number in the statistics mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the kids who have gone to, and we always encourage mm -hmm. students from the um, Dominica, mm -hmm. as would other countries do, to go to the University of the West Indies, mm -hmm. where they would meet Grenadians, right. Trinidadians, and see the commonality. Yes. So that I'm saying, 
to me, it's part of the curriculum that will help yes. engender this integration and exactly. this unity and, and the common purpose exactly. of being a Caribbean person exactly. and contribute to the further development. Yes, because regionality mm. is indeed a strength yes. of the University of yes. West Indies. Yes, yes. It is a strength. So that, yeah. that ought not to be lost. That ought not to be lost. Yes, yeah. Any time we see slippage, mm. we have to pull back. Yes. And I think mm. what is happening now is mm. with, with, with this task force mm. is trying to understand, you know, we, we need to see what's happening. What, what we, yes. yeah, where are we going, where are we going? et cetera. Yeah. Um, and, and just as a tidbit, um, if you recall, the, the Caribbean had the federal palm and federal maple. Yes, huh? yes, yes. Uh, although I traveled once on one of them, mm -hmm. um, going to St. Lucia, that was the first time I traveled by mm -hmm. a, a boat or something like that. But I always remember those persons who had UE then. Mm -hmm. It was the most amazing experience mm -hmm. to take that boat from say Jamaica yeah. to go way down to Trinidad. They yes. would even bypass Dominica yeah. just for the fun, the of, fun it. of it. Because yeah. on that boat were a set of Caribbean people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I feel let's say disturbed if I were to go to Grenada and I'm talking to a Grenadian um, school child and speak about Dominica and they, they probably never have heard about Dominica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they haven't um, traveled to Dominica. That is what you find. Most persons now in the Caribbean say it's easier to go to Miami. Yeah. than to go to Grenada. Mm -hmm. It's too costly. Mm -hmm. um, so there is another aspect that can help the integration process yes. um, in terms of traveling. Uh, exactly. Uh, so that students can go on a field trip to Dominica. Mm -hmm. From Grenada, Dominicans go to, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. In, in sports, we do it a bit. Right. But I think the university can look into that. A lot more. You know? And through research, mm -hmm. only last week I had some students present um, in a class, this class on the master's mm -hmm. in um, trade. Trade yes. policy. Yes. I teach a course called Region Integration Development. Okay. And students were and we had this Dominican student. Yes. And she was presenting about Caribbean transport. Yes. Herself and another a Barbadian. And they came up with a schedule for how we can maximize our maritime space much more. Yes. And the, the, the vessel that moves from Guadeloupe to, to um, St. Lucia, St. Lucia down, and um, Martinique. They showed Dominican. how you could expand that yes. route. Yes. And um, real um enhance Caribbean transport. transport and this yeah. is where the University of the West Indies comes in Felix yes in terms of how we can use research yes to solve critical Caribbean problems, problems yes. mm -hmm. and I think as we encourage students to choose topics mm. that will be meaningful and relevant yes. to the region yes. uh, mm. um, we can then feed that into policy yes so that becomes a very important pillar of the University of the West Indies how we use research I want you to mention about region integration we have a master's in regional integration studies okay and students have come to us from guadeloupe from the united states from england from several caribbean countries trying to understand regional integration from the perspective of the global south um and i think it's a very important program we're trying to extend um reach further and um, i want to encourage pe people who may be working in the ministry of foreign affairs or ministry of trade mm. um, we have at kfl a master's in integration studies it is the only program within the ue system yes, and um if you're interested we can give you brochures well, and, but, but um, you you have touched on something because i said we are going to introduce in second semester mm -hmm. um a course called trade um uh, trade law and policy mm -hmm. so what i'll try to do is get this um lecturer who is home base mm -hmm. to to link up with with you yes um, and probably some ideas may flow we can reshape the course um the course outline etc uh -huh. and and what is relevant to it yes because uh, if i may mm -hmm. say the the sursuit that Rampal sent mm -hmm. They offer the masters in trade policy, and okay. it's a very good program. Okay. The students get to do an attachment in Geneva. Oh, great! Yes, mm. and most of them find very good jobs after. After that, it's yes, a masters yes. in, in international trade okay. policy. And I just let, left this one not for last, mm -hmm. but interesting one. We have started a course in sustainable agriculture. Very good. I think in your lecture you, you, you have to on, on sustenance. Um, we have presented it to a Dr. Ian Austin who is the um, um, Deputy Director for CPE, right. Continuing Professional Education. Mm -hmm. And he commended what we are doing in Dominica because mm -hmm. that is our lifeblood agriculture, although um, we have been plagued with um, the black cigar toker yes. mm -hmm. and you made mention of something earlier and um, I went to get back to it 
so with our sustainable agriculture, we are hoping to get somewhere mm -hmm. to attract many persons. Not, it's not agriculture in terms of what people think, digging holes and putting mm -hmm. banana plants in, but mm -hmm. looking at uh, agriculture as a means of sustaining the family and right. the community, etc. Um, yes, food security, etc. And value added from agriculture yeah. becomes important. Eh? Yeah. But the seaweed you bid mention of, Sargasso. Uh, Sargasso. Yes. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, mm -hmm. I understood that some Dominican farmers on the east, mm -hmm. they took the, the sagasso, put it around the, the, oh, the banana answer. and the planting, mm -hmm. and somehow it gets rid of the black cigar token. Okay. Are you, you see, aware of that? You see, but in Barbados, they're using it for different purposes as yes, well. Yes. I went on a sort of um, display um, of how they're using it for fertilizer and all of that. Mm. So that's where research comes in, and that is why the University of the West Indies is so important to this region. Yes. Because we can do the research mm. on things like that that could then affect the life of a farmer. Yes. And this is why... Well, not, not only a not farmer, farmer, but the I mean, farmer and his, family and his family and his community. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. But I found it very interesting. I mean, mm -hmm. how one thought of taking that seaweed and mixing it with the soil mm -hmm. and put it around the planting of banana plants and getting rid of this. It's called native intelligence. By, listen, native it is intelligence, you can be that. No, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot. <laughs> but that's probably is a project um, somebody need to, to go further into. What it is, yes. is it the sulfur or whatever it is in there? Because it doesn't have a very good smell. There, there, <laughs> some, I know a student mm. at Cavill who's actually doing his PhD research on, on that. that. Oh, fantastic. On that. Yes, yes. So when that kind of knowledge is produced, yes. it can then be used yes. in yes. the carbon in a meaningful way. So, yeah, so yes. it doesn't mean buying some chemical from some pharmaceutical plant or some agricultural mm -hmm. research institute somewhere in, in, in North America or Europe. Mm -hmm. But we take the locally um, local thing, which is 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 a hazard you may say right. for the beaches and, turn and tourism around. but turn it around yes because to last night i was thinking about yes. taking tools of oppression and turning mm. them into weapons of victory victory yes it's yes. part mm. of what we've done so it's, it's viewing things not only in a negative way turning but in a positive around. way turning yes them use around. them to yes, yes um wendy mm -hmm. let me just say i i've had a a uh, uh, year full. <laughs> you are bringing um, 2015 to an end with so much information and knowledge which you have shared with Dom the Dominican public and you did so um, against the backdrop of a very much revered um, leader, Dame Eugenia Charles. May the Lord bless her soul wherever she is mm -hmm. and we know where she is but that was a Caribbean person too mm -hmm. because you made mention earlier about she being involved in the formation of the OECS. Mm -hmm. And the formation of the OECS has uh, a good purpose. You speak of the currency, the EC dollar, which I wish all the Caribbean, uh, we can rename it, uh, all the Caribbean would use, because somebody at one of our lectures said that to travel around the Caribbean, you have to have 13 different currencies. You know, Barbados has its own dollar, Jamaica, Trinidad, Suriname, and Suriname Cayman Islands, you, you just name it, mm -hmm. Haiti, etc. Mm -hmm. um, Belize would have its, mm -hmm. its, 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 its money too. And only grouping, um, which is a very good example and should be emulated, and was, I think, by the European Union, is the OECS. Mm -hmm. So that's as part of our contribution. Mm -hmm. It's very significant. And mm -hmm. as you say, history will... Um, prove all of us right that Dame Eugenia Charles not only as a woman but made a significant contribution mm -hmm. to Caribbean integration and uh, um, the Caribbean community yeah. uh, for many years to come. Mm -hmm. um, let me again thank you for being with us mm -hmm. uh, in Dominica. This is your second time. Mm -hmm. Let it not be the last and we expect to see much more of you. Okay. If, you, if, you, you. If, you if you don't speak, um, persons watching them may say, hey, I know this girl, she's from Dominica. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you are very yes. much like all yes. of us, yes. Caribbean people, mm -hmm. working towards that integration mm -hmm. and the commonality mm -hmm. for our development. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you very much. It was a pleasure being here. Yes. Good, thanks. Yeah.